Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope you guys are safe and well. Today's video is very, very exciting for me because it's in collaboration with Ikra, The Blushing Draft, and Fatima as well and today we are showing you our quarantine favourites and I just thought that's such a good idea I love watching these videos I will leave Ikra and Fatima's channel down below definitely go check them out so yeah I've been really looking forward to this and I just want to say thank you to you both and I can't wait to watch your videos I can't wait to see what your favourites are as well so the first favourite actually came through the post this morning and I know you're going to be like what well, how is that your favourite I'll tell you how. So Ikra from the Blush and Draft. I will leave Instagrams and YouTubes down below. Basically on Instagram, Ikra had a giveaway and I won it. Parcel came today. I opened it and honestly, just read the sweetest message when I opened it. She's just a sweetest soul. I love her videos. She, your content is honestly some of my favourite. And that was it. I got to that bit and I was just like... <laughs> Quickly show you what I got. Two Korean skincare face masks an eco tools a sponge which i can't wait to use laura mercier original translucent powder i've tried to stop buying into hypes so i never actually got this so the one that i eventually got quite a few months ago was the laura mercier uh, glow powder this leaves a yellow tint so whenever you bake so do not do that but a all over powder is actually really nice gives a really nice go but this so you can see they're quite different so you know which one's which. But this I have used today. I never thought I was a baking person. I used to hate baking. It used to leave my under eyes so dry. But I just feel like it's so flawless. And my whole makeup went on so much smoother. And yeah, I really regret not buying this sooner. So this is definitely a fave. And I know I've used it once. But when you know, you know, okay? Definitely a fave. I love it. Going on to more makeup bits, obviously. I've not been doing a full face, but I just thought I'd include these. This is amazing. This is the Lux Blender. The colour difference is not because it's ombre. That's my foundation. I've got a video coming up in the next few days as on a review of this. And you can see how it performs. It's amazing. It's so soft and bouncy. Love it. You definitely need to get it. I'm actually wearing these. These are the Unicorn Apple Sours favorite lashes in the whole wide world they go on so beautifully and so easy going on from that i do believe that this has got a lot to do with it this is the house of lashes adhesive glue best eyelash glue in the game i really really need to invest in the see-through one for days that i don't wear mascara honestly this is a game changer if you are struggling to put your lashes on Put this onto your lash line as you do with eyeliner and literally don't even you don't even need to wait five seconds and the lashes stick on so beautifully and last all day. The makeup product I have discovered is this. This is the Toffee Pencil from Primark and I just forgot how much I love it. It is amazing and I'm not sure if they do it anymore. It's brown colour, it lasts all day. I don't know if this someone did say that they've discontinued these. But I'm sure they will have other ones. Definitely go check them out. Just quickly add this. Favourite eyebrow pencil ever. This is the MUA brow pencil. It's £1. I've got a video on it on my Instagram. I will leave that down below. I do my eyebrows in literally 30 seconds if that. I've really enjoyed using this Love Hearts Edition hand sanitizer. I know wouldn't really be a lockdown favourites without a hand sanitizer would it so I love this I've only got a little bit left I then replaced it with this this smells exactly like perfume I really really enjoy using this this is a cleansing hand bacterial from Boots I think it's just their own range one for a few pounds it's great I love this so much I feel like in lockdown it is so easy to just get into a rock and this really helps you to feel like you're in a spa and it smells beautiful and you just feel relaxed which is so important to take care of yourself in this time going on from that this is another favorite this is the himalayan charcoal purifying clay wash which again just feels like a luxurious product and really makes you feel like you're taking care of yourself i love it and it leaves your skin from the first wash as soon as you pat your skin dry you can tell a difference this is definitely a staple really have been enjoying this rescue oil it just gives my skin the hydration it needs my skin feel lovely so the last product within this range will be this this is the watermelon burst hydrating lip oil from CRT London and I actually got this from Tweedy's charity bundle if you haven't seen that leave the video link down below 
this is so good the only thing is is i feel like it's so pricey it makes your lips so hydrated I would purchase this myself and probably wait till it goes on offer but honestly it's so so good so my perfume favorite is this amari fantasy by avon i actually got this for my birthday and i don't know i can't explain it to you it's just whenever i wear it i just feel put together it really reminds me of Le Vie Belle, but obviously a much cheaper version. So my next favourite is actually my favourite out of everything. And maybe I should have included this at the beginning. And this I could not physically lift to show you. And that favourite is the fridge. Yeah, I've just been loving it. Just going into the kitchen, opening the fridge, not remember why going in there, closing it again, and then repeat this about 100 times a day. About 60 to 70 of those times, actually getting food out of the fridge and just eating it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I love this. This is the Yorkshire biscuit tea. And basically, I'm not a fan of tea at all. If you know me, I hardly drink tea. But this I can drink so much of. If you're trying to lose weight and you're craving biscuits and tea, this literally curbs your craving. It literally tastes like biscuits and tea, but in a drink. I can't explain it. That might sound gross to some of you, but you need to try it. I think it was a few pounds from Asda definitely worth it and if you are struggling with things like that like biscuits and chocolates and stuff like that then this is definitely for you another one is this this is the nascafe gold almond latte I knew they did these oh shit i don't know how new they are really really nice and so creamy I do add a dash of green milk suitable for vegans and i've really really been enjoying having a coffee and reading a book in the morning next two things i want to show you is these and I recently discovered Skips and if you're following me WW then these are two points and so worth it. I forgot how good these were. Like these are childhood crisps if you know you know but I forgot how good these were. I have a 71 calories per bag and it's really good. 10 calorie jelly from Hartley's, strawberry, these are suitable for vegetarians and yeah I've just been loving these and they've actually got new flavours of desserts which can I just say the Black Forest one is amazing i'm gonna have them after i film this video next two favorites are these if you haven't heard about the secret i mean you probably have some of you might i feel like it's more my i feel like you either hate it or love it i love it it is literally transforming my life and i cannot thank this book enough i've watched the documentary on netflix many many times that's also a favorite it just really helps you you know with lockdown and everything it's so easy to be caught up and for me, I have made a video on my mental health in lockdown and it isn't good and it wasn't good and it still isn't perfect but I feel like I've come a long way because of this. A bit where it says ask the universe for things. Obviously I'm Muslim, I believe in God, I believe in Allah so I, instead of where it says the universe I just know for me it means being grateful to God and asking God for things and God is the one giving it to me. I mean whichever route you follow this will change your life. I actually have a massive Amazon book haul that I want to show you guys. I also got this. This is a Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. This is £1, a bridged version of the real book. So I thought if I read this then I can treat myself to the real book. Only a pound and with Prime it came the next day. There's so much that I learnt from this book and if you want me to do a separate video on that I will but I don't want this video to go in any longer highly highly recommend it i've been trying to read some more self-help books and things like that to start writing down my goals i went to sainsbury's and got picked these two up that make it happen journal and once you open it it has got some marble i've actually started scripting in this book i think it's just so lovely it's like a soft material and it says make it happen on it this was six pounds and yes i probably did get ripped off but I've started using it so for me it's worth it. I use this as my law of attraction. I know that's not the neatest handwriting but this is my scripting journal and it says thoughts become things. If you don't know about scripting I honestly love it so much but I get up and spend at least a half, 20 minutes to half an hour to my days writing my goals as if I'm living them and it's really helped me keep positive and wanting to make my dreams come true so yeah I love this so much and it's so pretty and it's blush pink so to go with that is this this is the do what you love desk planner and you basically open it there and you can leave it as a desk the stickers in these ones have been misprinted which is just annoying but yeah it's three pounds fifty and these are the pages 
you just have a week to do list monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday it's and at the back it's just got this really been loving this to try and get on track with my youtube videos and it's been working great and really keeping me motivated but i just want to quickly let you know my netflix favorites first netflix favorite is self-made so, so amazing it's about a woman who makes her own product and it is a copy of someone she used to work for but the lady she used to work for basically feels like she's dark and she because she's black woman and because she has dark skin tone no one wants to buy these products of her and she can't make it she's just gonna be a slave and she basically works all her life to try and prove them wrong and try and make a legacy for her daughter just so so inspiring and just really makes you see that no matter what your skin color is no matter where you are in life how old you are what you look like if you're 10 stone if you're 30 stone it really doesn't matter you can make your dreams come true whatever you put your mind to you can make happen and yeah i think if lockdown has taught us anything it should be that to follow our dreams so yeah that's really really good actually really enjoyed watching was little fires everywhere i'm not going to lie to you when i told tell you it took at least four episodes which are nearly an hour long to fully get into it and have me hooked showing the two separate lives of a mother and daughter who are black against a basically privileged white family and just sort of they meet and yeah it's a lot happens within that you have to watch it is so good and it just shows you how different lives were and they still are in some aspects of the world but yeah it's a real eye opener i just really enjoyed watching it so i've got still got so much netflix shows that i want to watch and books that i want to read especially on the black lives matter i feel like i've got so much to learn still and i want really want to educate myself and watch them but that is the end of my video guys and i will leave ikra and fatima's channels down below so you can go watch their videos I really just want to say thank you to ikra and fatima for to clap with you and i can't wait for more in the future i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and i shall see you in the next one